Greetings, Kellogg friends, from the Great Hall of the Hesburgh Center, now empty, where ordinarily this week we would be gathering for the Kellogg Institute's year-end reception and celebration. This year, of course, circumstances of the coronavirus pandemic are preventing us from being here with you together in person. But those same circumstances make it even more appropriate to end this year expressing heartfelt gratitude for all of you who have made the, the Institute's year so full and fruitful, even in these final and trying weeks. First of all, I'd like to recognize all of our faculty fellows, the core of the Kellogg Institute scholarly community. Your research determines the success of the Institute's mission to foster deeper understandings of democracy and human development. Your participation in our seminars, lectures, and workshops sustains the lively intellectual life that consistently characterizes our community. And your generous service on committees and in selection processes makes it possible for us to offer so many outstanding opportunities to faculty and students alike. Thank you. Our graduate student affiliates have also contributed indispensably to the life of the Institute this past year. At the closing reception, we typically announce this year's recipient of our annual Kellogg Institute Award for Outstanding Doctoral Student Contributions. And I'm pleased to be able to announce to you that this year's awardee is Camilo Nieto Matiz, a comparative political scientist who studies state building in violent contexts. Camilo has been a Kellogg Dissertation Year Fellow this year. He was nominated for the award by both faculty and his peers, who cited not only his scholarly output, but also his collaboration with faculty and his role as a founding member of Kellogg's new Notre Dame Violence and Transitional Justice Lab. Camilo has helped build Kellogg's intellectual community by co-authoring articles with other doctoral students and by mentoring younger students. He is scheduled to begin a two-year postdoctoral fellowship at the Center for Inter-American Policy and Research at Tulane University in the fall. Congratulations, Camilo. Many of the undergraduate students who have enriched the Institute with their dedicated work will be graduating and moving on, but we invite you to remain part of the Kellogg community even as you disperse and go on to your new adventures. After this period of enforced distancing, we will be looking forward even more than usual to welcoming back those of you who will be returning in the fall. The Kellogg Institute would not be the vibrant, generative place it is without the many visitors who share with us their work and their presence throughout the year. Above all, we are grateful for the ter terrific cohort of visiting fellows we had in this spring semester. Adela Cedillo, Debbie Durham, Virginia Oliveros, and Liz Sperber, who remained engaged with the Institute even as the global pandemic disrupted our work. Finally, I can't say enough in praise of the extraordinary staff of the Institute. Even in routine times, as you know, their professionalism and work are incomparable. The exceptional circumstances of this semester have only brought out even more their talents and dedication. Among them, a special word of gratitude and of farewell is due to Sharon Sherling our managing director, who is retiring this summer after two decades of outstanding service and leadership. Throughout that time, Sharon's presence has become synonymous with the Institute itself, and we will miss her tremendously. On behalf of all of us at the Kellogg Institute, in the months ahead, I wish you a restorative time of peace, safety, and a renewed awareness of what is good, true, and beautiful in life. We'll be waiting for you, ready to begin another year of collaborative work together in August. <laughs>